Today we're going to use plastic gauge to check the clearances on the small block Chevy 350. Let's get started. Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you guys are subscribers, thank you very much for coming back and watching this. Uh, if you guys aren't, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel so I can validate all the time I waste out here in the garage. Uh, but anyways, let's get started on the video. Uh, I am just rebuilding this engine here. It's a small block Chevy 350. Uh, in the previous videos, the number three rod uh, spun the bearing on it. So I have to rebuild the engine here and the crankshaft. I'll show you guys. Here's the old one. Number three set right here. You can visibly see that groove and this crank is junk. So I went ahead and bought a brand new crank. Here it is. Sits nice and well on the engine. And I've actually gone and already checked a couple of the main bearings on here. Uh, but I want to show you guys how this plastic gauge works and uh, show you guys what exactly you have to do to check it out. Okay, so what is plastic gauge anyways? All it is is you can see it sitting right here. I'll get a better shot for you guys here in a second. Uh, but it's just this tiny little piece of plastic. And all you're going to do with that is place it in between the two bearings that you're trying to measure. And you can see that little smudge there. And you're going to tighten down the cap. And this case is a crankshaft. You can use it for uh, rods, whatever you guys have to measure the clearances on. And all you do is take the markings on the sleeve right here and compare it to the mark right there. And it'll tell you what range of clearance you're in right there. So uh, let me get, get this set up and I'll show you guys an example. Okay, so like I said, all you're going to do is place a thin little piece of that plastic gauge in between the two bearings here that you want to measure and uh, set it on there gently so that it doesn't uh, move around because you're going to set that cap on there. And you're going to take that cap and you're going to torque it down to spec, whatever the spec may be for the engine that you're working on. After you're done torquing that down, you can undo the cap, whatever bearing you were working on there. And you can take off that cap and you'll see that smudge marked right on there. So with that smudge marked on there, all you're going to do is take that sleeve that they provided with you and you're going to hold it up to the little smudge mark that that left. And you can see this one is right around 15 thousandths. Yeah, it's kind of in between 2 thousandths and 15 thousandths. And the spec that we're looking for on this small block Chevy is 24 thousandths. So it's a little bit on the tighter side. Um, everything I've read online, and I'm sure you guys can find the same stuff I did, says that's totally fine for this engine. Um, this is not a high performance engine at all. So it should be totally fine to run that. But uh, let me look over these other bearing clearances here and see if we're all good. Let's look at all these plastic gauge marks. I stuck one on each uh, main cap here. This guy's at just about 15 thousandths, which is pretty close to where we want it. It'll be fine for this engine. So they all look pretty much the same, which is excellent. Uh, another thing you guys want to look for on these smudges here if it is not uniformly smashed in any way uh, that could be an issue with your crankshaft being out of round or maybe there's something going on with a bearing that you need to double check but not a big deal just uh, double check what you guys need to but anyways uh, this plastic gauge stuff is pretty straightforward I'm not gonna get crazy into it uh, pretty much just use the sleeve here smash it on there torque it down the spec take it off double check it you're good to go uh, this stuff is $2.99 and I bought this at Summit Racing. So you can pretty much get this at any of the uh, speed shops you guys shop at. Uh, but it is really good reassurance that your bearing clearances are correct and where they need to be so you can sleep good at night and you don't have to worry about your crankshaft coming apart like this. Not good. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching guys. This engine is going to be coming together. I'll be posting a video on that here shortly. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> he gets such a sad face. He loves it. He's terrified. I've never seen any dog love cucumbers as much as this dog. We're gonna put these in a bag. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs>